Oh joy, welcome back, I guess, to more Return to Danger. Oh man, I just don't understand how how these maps, they just keep getting worse and worse and worse. Every level that passes, it's just, it, it just it just doesn't improve at, at all. I mean, it doesn't even like stand still. It just goes backwards in quality. I mean, see for yourself. I mean, what the, what, what, what is this? It's just in your face, this blue, um, this blue wall, uh, ugly maze. And this entire map, I would say this, uh, a good 75% of this map is this wall texture. It's just one big confusing winding maze. And it is really, really easy to get lost. So. Your best bet uh, when handling this is just to, to, to know these secrets and just get out as quickly as possible. Well, your best bet is just not to play it. Here is uh, the silver key. You don't even need it. Uh, when it comes to beating this map, if all you're doing is beating the map, uh, you don't need to get the keys. You don't need to kill anything. You can just, if you just follow this, you'll get right out of here. Um, our final score should be 30... 31,300. Uh, we're going to be passing the million point mark, so it's going to reset itself. So it'll say 0, 31,300. Um, Alright, so let's go on down here, and we have this long hallway. Now this long hallway is going to take us to another secret. There are six secrets. And right here, here's the end. So you can totally leave. And I would suggest you do so. <laughs> but for this LP, we gotta keep going. And off we go. Ah, uh, man, push this. And we enter this room. And this is, uh, well, we're faced with letters. We are in the letters RRM. Which um, I can, I'm just going to assume that it stands for the author's, the map maker's initials, I guess. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it can stand for really rotten mapping. But here we have some deaf guards. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with deaf guards. Absolutely nothing wrong with deaf guards if they're used correctly. That is not used well. I mean, I, I can I, I can guess that uh, they were expecting us to come from the other way and they would see us, but I don't know. I I don't even know why I'm asking questions here. Just uh, this whole thing is just um, where'd he go? Ah, oh, you had to run up that way, didn't you? Oh, there you are. So we're in the letter M right now, for whatever it stands for. The letter M, uh, you can see, see, it just forms it. Ah, uh, well, anyhow, <laughs> let's go on this way. And we have ourselves a space with, uh, well, here we're entering the letter R. Oops, I always forget these guys are here. I don't know why. I mean, I've done this map so many times, so much practice, and I still forget they're there. And it's funny, too, because you see them when you walk in here, they're like running against, um, they're running against uh, the wall that's right here. Nope. Come on. Yeah, the letter R, um, it really does, it can make for a really, really annoying battle. Because, as you can see, they can, they get stuck on the wall over there, and then you gotta sneak around, and, and then they're waiting for you, and stuff is in the way. It's just annoying. But, you know, another thing about the initials, another thing about the initials is that 
it would it would suggest that they are proud of their work here. Imagine that, you know, and you know what? I I I can putting myself in their shoes. If I made this, maybe I would be proud of it. But man, this did not age well at all. Maybe at the time it was a good idea. Uh, or maybe they were just going for money. I we may never know the true answers to any of this. But um Be that as it may, whatever the reason, here we are. Be sure to collect all these little treasures here, these time bombs. Uh, the next map has initials too. So we're back out in this ugly maze, and what I want to do is just hug the right wall. And eventually we are going to come to a door. It's right here. In this door is just a bunch of guys. That's all it is. And we're going to let them come to us. Because uh, if this were a more exciting game, I would totally make every effort I could to go in there and try to make this exciting to watch. But as it is, this just is not an exciting game. It, and um, I just don't care. <laughs> I just... Um, I just kind of want to get this out of the way here, so let's just let them come to us. I know there's more SS in there. They usually get stuck on the wall that's uh, a little bit farther in. I think that may be it. They might be stuck over here. Yep. <laughs> Got uh, Sniper SS over here. Alright, we'll grab that. So now what I want to do is I'm going to step out this way and I'm just going to hug the right wall again. We'll collect some more ammo and more, well, as you saw there. And rinse and repeat, we just have more guys. Let's see, there's usually another SS in there. Not sure how many guys in total are in here. Anybody else? Ah, oh, looks like we got everyone. Usually if they don't poke their head out uh, within just a few seconds, then we got them all. Okay, uh, I want to get the gold key now, so I'm going to step back out where I came. It's not far. We're going to go back here, just swing around, and here it is. Alright, so now I'm going to just go around this way. Up this way, around this way. You can tell I've done this a few times. <laughs> and we push the wall right here. Yeah, this is a really, really big maze. It is uh, it's super, super easy to get lost. 
So we push that for our last secret, and it doesn't lead us anywhere but to the beginning again. So let's just run back this way. Now here we go, this room here. This room is just a big empty nothing. Um, but here's the thing now. We have ourselves a room full of SS. And that room in there is connected to a room that's way over there that we're going to go to after this. And it's floor coded connected. So if we fire a shot, they're going to be alerted over there. Now it's not a huge deal because we're doing it this way. Now if we went down that way and did that first, fired a shot, these guys in here would all be alerted and they're going to come out and they're going to scramble all over that ugly maze. So if you are going for 100%, I suggest doing it this way because um, you're less likely to have to chase down guys. Come on. And the thing is, I don't know if that's intentional. I don't know if maybe they forgot that they used that same floor code, that they used the floor code twice. Um, I, I just, I just don't know. It's just a mystery what they were thinking. And so much wrong. I mean, it's as if they, they, they want to be a punching bag or something for us to just keep poking at it. But, um... Anyhow, let's just go around the corners here, go this way, go around. It's pretty easy to navigate uh, after doing all that stuff. You're really just hugging the left wall. So let's run down here. Um, I do want to collect some ammo. There should be some crates. Here we go. We should be set to go. Uh, there is one one up to grab. It'll be the last thing we take. Right to go in here. And get out the chain gun. Let them have it. And there you have that. So you can see our score. It passed the million point mark. Uh, DOS cannot go above a million points, uh, you know, normally. So yeah, it resets itself. This is the room right here that was connected to that SS room that I was talking about. So this little guy was alerted. You could see he was running around. But he stays, he stays uh, in this little room, so you don't really have to worry about him running around out in this maze. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about this. You know, it's like a lot of folks, they didn't like uh, the original Floor 8 of Spear of Destiny. Um, and I can see why. I can definitely see why. But this game, this game gives you a reason, a real reason to not like Floor 8. All right, cool. We made the score. We got our one up. Uh, we can get the heck out of here. It's like the uh, the child, you know, whining and crying that, uh, you know, he's being a brat. And then the father's like, no, he's crying about some minor thing, whatever. And the dad is like, you stop that crying or I'll give you something to cry about. And it's like, that's what this mod, well, it is technically a mod, I suppose. But that's what this game is doing. It's, oh, you didn't like Floor 8? Oh, we'll give you a reason not to like it. At any rate, Floor 8 done.